please hit the like button, notification bell, hit that subscription button, man. Be trying to get to 2,000 subs. Let's get it. Today, we are back with another video. This one is from the content creator, Mr. Let Go. Thought he had a pretty good uh, head on his shoulders. Today, he is reacting to a video from Rebecca Hope. Rebecca Lynn Pope sounds like a comic book character's name. She is discussing black men are marrying natural hair women. I've not watched this video yet, blind reaction. This topic irritates me so much. I'll try to save my commentary to the end. In wearing my natural curly hair is that it gets a lot of attention. She looked like she got on a weave now. More compliments, uh, flirts, um, attention from women, attention from men, more looks. And, and I haven't worn my hair natural in so long that I didn't really pay attention to it. We have created a norm for beauty, standards of beauty, that is not really about our natural beauty, our natural looks, right? Duh. And it hit me this week. I was like, men did not approach me in person. But when I was single, I was also always glammed up. How often do you get hit on when you feel like you look like a bum? When you feel like you're just running for with your ponytail and yoga pants on versus all glammed up, super done, hair did, makeup did, everything did. It's more likely, I think, that we get hit on when we look less glam versus more natural and dressed down. Dudes like natural women. L Lily says a lot. So unorthodox says, yes, they are. And they have been trying to tell us this. Is it getting to the point where everybody's starting to look alike? But if we're really mm -hmm. honest, by the time we're creating these looks that are based on these social media standards of beauty, aren't, isn't everybody starting to look like mm -hmm. the Kardashians? Isn't, aren't we all starting to kind of look like your favorite influencer? And so then it's like these social standards of beauty just keep getting more and more ridiculous. We're kind of a carbon copy. That's what I'm trying to say. For those of you who feel like you're wanting to do things a little bit more natural, it's like, she was telling me her last boyfriend, he wanted her to wear her natural hair. He met her wearing extensions, but then he wanted her to wear her natural hair. So she took out her extensions and um, she wore her natural hair for like six months. She couldn't take any more because it was just so much work and maintenance. But and she said he... Remember that part, the work and maintenance. He loved it. He loved her natural hair. And she's like... Yeah, it's the natural beauties who are who are married. It's the natural beauties, the natural girls who have boyfriends or they're married. I am so thankful that somebody has finally said this out loud because the majority of women actually already know this, but they're afraid in some type of weird roundabout way to say it out loud. We men have been saying this for years. You want to know why women aren't getting married like they used to? It's because of the wig epidemic. It's a it's an epidemic now. Just like uh, Rebecca Lynn Pope said, oh, and shout oh, out agree. to uh, Rebecca. She's so dope. I'm glad she said this. The majority of you ladies literally look like each other. And this is uh, a scientific thing called assimilation. I 1000% believe, saying personally, that a lot of our women are addicted to it. It's true about them looking alike and everyone started to look like the Kardashians. I know I've, I've seen that as well, but that doesn't really bother me. The biggest thing that bothers me about the, about the fake hair and all this kind of stuff is that it doesn't look good. That's my biggest thing that I don't think anyone says. The weave, the wigs, the lace fronts and all that nonsense, it doesn't look better. It takes away from our black women's beauty. It doesn't enhance it. So that's the thing that's always left me puzzled. The only way a weave will look good on a woman is if you can't tell it's a weave. And what I would find out in adulthood and you know, figuring out game and talking to more women, it's the expensive weaves that's the ones. It's the kind that you can't tell. Those are the super expensive ones. And of course, women can't afford that. So they're rocking the cheap joints. 
none of the weaves and wigs none of it looks good majority of women that you know we men encounter they all look the same it's like just like she said they're carbon copies of each other and it's like sad and i want y'all to think about this what is one of the main things a man wants out of a wife not cooking and cleaning she has to be different than other women right so if you just look at the just the common sense reason why a man would actually because men like women right yeah what would make a man actually want to get with one woman and be with her in particular her versus all the other women and marry her is because she's special is because she's unique it's because she's irreplaceable Makes sense And the majority of you ladies You don't look unique And you don't appear to be irreplaceable Because you look exactly like the last woman That we just seen walk past us Or that we just dated So in other words As men We are literally like dating Women on a conveyor belt coming out of a factory. All y'all just look the same. Y'all just coming down a conveyor belt and we just grabbing one, hang out with her, have fun with her, have a relationship with her. Cause all of y'all look the same. That I mean that's a fair that's a fair point. I don't really even care about the aspect of it, but he does make a fair point. It's like y'all coming off an an assembly line or something. And you wonder why we men aren't choosing you in particular to marry and we're just having fun with you and then just you know because sometimes men would just play with you and play with you and play with you because just like what rebecca said it's like dating carbon copies of the last woman we dated whenever we are out somewhere it's always some woman with long flowing hair some tight pants on and some long eyelashes and she looks exactly like the woman over there and this is the specific reason why it makes no sense. It doesn't make sense for us to marry one of these carbon copy doll looking people. So another thing that Rebecca said, we men are marrying the women that are natural, that wear their natural hair, that embrace their natural beauty. I have a woman now. She never, never wears wigs. My last girlfriend as well. She was natural 24 seven. But she doesn't wear all that stuff. She doesn't wear eyelashes. No. I hate so that. she embraces her natural beauty. And I'm looking to marry her. I've been married before. My ex-wife never, when I say never, Never Ever Wore wigs She didn't even wear weave Never wore eyelashes Never So When you look at the wives Not the baby mamas You'll see Somewhat of a trend On how they look See we men Love the, the woman with the ponytail and the yoga, yoga pants on, you know, just running in and out of the Walmart. That is the most beautiful woman because she embraced her natural beauty. Absolutely. It looks to us that she likes how she looks. It looks to us that the women who wear out this other stuff don't like how they look. They like how somebody else looks So they go and put on this costume So they can look like somebody else And with that being said Why would one of us Actually want to marry a woman That looks like somebody else We'll play with a woman That looks like somebody else But if all y'all are looking like somebody else why don't we just marry somebody else instead of you?
man where do i begin i feel like this is a topic that i could talk about for the next 20 minutes as a black man you can have a whole list of things that you think are wrong with black women from masculinity attitude etc etc right out your list what's number one on theo coop's list is the weave i hate weave i hate weaves wigs extensions those ghetto eyelashes the raptor cloth fingernails when you rocking a pound of makeup um what a tattoo like a rapper i'm almost 40 i don't have any tattoos i think tattoos on the women can be okay if they're put in, in small delicate places but if you tatted up like a convict it's something wrong man it's like the vast majority of black women nowadays are weaved up like the natural now i will say that and from my anecdotal experience it seems like the natural um look is has been trending upward for the last few years and i believe it's not going to stop i believe there's going to be more and more women being natural and, and coming back to it but i won't date a woman who's weaved up if you if you were i i i would only date a woman who's natural 24 7. that's just to me that's that's just the basics man and the thing is i don't feel that you're asking anything crazy you're saying wear the hair that grows out of your head think about that for a second just let that cook and some people will try to make an exception to it saying that it's okay if you wear a wig that's similar to your hair texture so if you're a black woman who wears a wig of like an afro style hair that it makes it a little bit better i mean yes yes and no in my opinion grow it if you want to hear that style grow it just have women coming in and saying if a woman only have a one inch fro a man wouldn't want her he's gonna want a woman a woman with a long no i would rather take your one inch nappy baby fro then you having a six foot wig down to your waist it all looks hideous to me the do better pause is an anti-weave establishment and i have no problem admitting that i'm wrong on anything if i made a mistake I'll, I'll gladly come in the comments and correct myself i've done it many times but i'm doubling down tripling down the do better podcast is an anti-weave establishment <laughs> fuck your lace front lady all right and stop with the excuses because that's really what happens when you talk to black women about it you can't really have an open and honest they make excuses for it oh it's the white man's fault cracker made me wear my lace front like no he didn't oh well i'll get fired from my job find a new job then y'all all boss babes why are you so scared but self-hatred is definitely a part and then the last thing i'll leave you guys with is my own personal thing i think self-hatred is a part of it thinking that their black hair their black curly kinky hair isn't as good as uh, Europeans hair or, or someone who's Hispanic. I, I personally think that the biggest thing well, is just the maintenance. It's just the maintenance. It takes time and effort to just get up and do your hair every single day. I noticed having a conversation with my with my sister who's natural 24 seven has been like that for years. She tells me about women stopping her, constantly giving her compliments. And my ex-girlfriend, um, she wore locks. She wore locks and she would get compliments all the time. So if you're rocking a wig or a weave while you're watching this video, I hope it falls off your head while you're hitting the dislike button. But you guys go ahead and let me know what you think after party in the comments. My name is Theodore Cooper, but you can call me bitch. Do better.